<laughs> Do you know what? I've just realised um, how much I'm practising doing this, doing the videos and what have you. Uh, for a long time now I've been putting the fuck ups, all the mistakes, or just funny things that happen or whatever while I'm recording at the beginning of videos and I've noticed over the last like month or so that I'm doing this less and less and less and less just because I'm fucking up less. Um, it's quite it's quite disappointing actually, there, you know, there were some quite funny moments when I get a bit tongue twisted and what have you. Anyway, roll them fucking credits and the stupid music. My name's Matt, welcome back to the shop. And today we're talking, someone asked me a question about, uh, I think his name is Chris. Ship with names, sorry if it wasn't you. Um, two stroke and four stroke fuel blah, 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 fuel usage. Uh, so this, is, this, this, this highlights two things. So generally two strokes for the same RPM for the same CC will use twice the amount of fuel as a four stroke. This you know stands to reason, it's quite simple, that um, at the same RPM, so we have our time, you know what I mean? So if we have our it's the minute bit that we're interested in, the RPM, um, you know, and for every 360 degrees we uh, fill the cylinder once, for two, st uh, fucking hell, I was going to say stroke two then, uh, for two stroke and it's 720 degrees fill for uh, one fill for a four stroke, you know what I mean? So. If our RPM is equal, is the same, and there's our measurement of time as well. So we've got our rotations, we've got our minutes, and then we have our CC. So when we've got our cubic capacity, our cubic centimetres, I shouldn't say cubic capacity, uh, cubic centimetres, when we've got our CC, um, you know, then we can basically, and, and these two are equal, so two stroke equals four stroke, they are the same. Then the two stroke uses twice the amount of fuel the four stroke does. This is regardless of fuel injection. This is, you know, uh, to a certain degree. Two strokes, the two strokes that have fuel injection, you would have to compare to a four stroke that has fuel injection. And if it's direct injection, you'd have to do both of the both, and so on. Um, but like for like fueling systems, uh, like for like years, uh, same CC you have half the power strokes at the same RPM. So it is going to use twice the fuel. You know, you look at some of these numbers on um, the, 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 the um, oh, fucking what do you call it now, snowmobiles. 16 miles per gallon, it's shocking for some of them. You know what I mean? It is crazy uh, how much fuel they go through. Uh, you know, so, and this is the other problem. So when we talk about emissions and stuff, when you take all this and you say, right, a thousand kilometers how much carbon how much um, co2 uh, particulate matter all the rest of it hydrocarbons what have you over a hundred kilometers which one burns the most because you've got to remember speed and power are not involved in this you know what I mean speed and power if you hold them both at the same rpm they have the same gearing then basically they'll pretty much go at the same speed um, you know, but you've got half the bangs here, then you have this, and th this is another reason why two strokes fail emissions. You know, not across the board, and I know there's a lot of argument about that. It's not across the board. Two strokes in general, and this is the thing. You know, people go, "Oh, the Evin Rude, oh the fucking Rotax snowmobile." How many fucking Evin Roods and snow snowmobile Rotax engines are there in the world compared to two stroke mopeds in fucking India alone? You know what I mean? We are talking about the world, and when I say two strokes, I mean the two stroke family as a whole. And a massive majority, right now on the, on the, on the planet today, in all of Asia and India and places like that, is two strokes. You got fucking Europe, two stroke pe mopeds are fucking everywhere. Spain, Italy, all across the Mediterranean, they are fucking everywhere. You know what I mean? So when I say two strokes, we're not, we don't mean the MMX. You know what I mean? Of the Evin Rude, because there's not many of them. We mean two strokes as a broad hole. You know, and Dan Anderson keeps on going, two strokes haven't smoked or whatever. Have you fucking been to India, you prick? 
Yeah, exactly. It, it, literally, it's on your tongue, is that stuff. It's crazy. But um, this is another reason why they fail emissions, and this is why, um, like for like, they will always fail emissions versus a four-stroke. It's not just the oil, you know what I mean? It's the fact that they burn twice the amount of fuel. And the governments of the world and what have you are saying to these manufacturers, do you have to use two-stroke? And the manufacturers say, well, we don't have to, no. You know, motocross, like KTM and stuff, well, our customers would prefer. Well, give four-stroke a, a try, you're going to have to. And KTM have, you know what I mean? KTM have given four-stroke a try. And when you look at the models for four-stroke and two-stroke for KTM, um, you know, it's the motocross, there's a, I think there's a few more. I think there's 17 models of two-stroke and there's 15 models of four-stroke. And then you go to motocross, uh, cross-country, you know, endurance racing and stuff. Most of them are two-strokes. Um, I think nearly all of them are two-strokes from KTM. But then as soon as you go to street machines, street machines, the ones that they sell more of, that's it, the ones they sell more of uh, across all manufacturers, but even KTM, you know, every single one, all their Dukes, from the 125 all the way up, you know, all of their uh, street bikes, their public transportation bikes, you know, not recreational bikes, are all four-stroke, just across the board. You know what I mean? That's just, and people say well, there's no death of four and two-strokes. It never used to be like that. In the 60s and 70s, Suzuki and everyone were selling road bikes with license plates. You know what I mean? That were two-strokes. It just doesn't happen anymore. They've been relegated to fucking mopeds and what have you. But, yes, two strokes do burn more fuel. It's cost to do. You know what I mean? The other thing is, as well, is is they're very inefficient with this fuel. This is the other problem. So it's worse because they don't have high compression ratios. Everyone watching right now knows that high compression ratios is associated with uh, fuel efficiency. Everyone knows that. That's why diesels have high compression ratios, and you will get more mileage out of a diesel over a petrol anyway, any day. And that's two. That's a four-stroke system and a four-stroke system pitted again, you know, against each other. Diesels give you more mileage; they are more fuel efficient than petrols. That doesn't mean that petrols can't be competitive. Yes, they can. But then, if you put that same amount of money in diesels, you can have better diesels. It's as simple as that. You know, these. This is physics. This isn't fucking around. Um, you know, and most two-strokes because of their volumetric efficiency, because of their sensitivity to um, temperature, because of their porting, because of all these other reasons, two strokes do not generally have high compression ratios. They just can't pull it off. And we're going to do about compression ratios because it's all about how you measure a compression ratio in a two stroke. There's an argument about that as well, which will be great because we're going to kick off another argument on the channel. But uh, how you measure a compression ratio on a two-stroke is one of the things that people get a bit funny about, and it is very difficult to do. Any road. Uh, back to this, yes, you know, two-strokes use shit at, at least more than 50% of the fuel that four-strokes use, generally across the board, when you're comparing like for like. Hope that makes sense, I hope that answers this dude's question, and I'll see you in a bit.